Cybercrime is a term used to describe any crime that originates from an online source. Now this might be phishing, hacking or a data breach. And those crimes are currently costing the UK an eye-watering 11 billion a year. Significant threats to your business can come from personal devices that have access to the corporate LAN. Now this could be on your wireless network that's not segregated. However, these could also come from emails from trusted sources like the HMRC. But most of the time, these aren't trusted. Here, we are going to explore where these crimes originate from, but more importantly for you, how you can prevent them. Cybercrime can take the form of viruses, malware, or hacking as we've already said. And with the rise of new technology like cloud computing, e-banking and artificial intelligence, these just open up new avenues for criminals to exploit. The potential cost of cybercrime is astronomical and you really should be taking this seriously. First of all, it's about education. Make sure that cybercrime and recovery strategies are voiced at board level. And it's key to make sure that all your staff are trained in identifying what could possibly be a threat and what isn't. Secondly, ask a specialist to audit your systems. This will take a look at everything within your network to identify any possible vulnerabilities and then give you a list of your risks to work out what needs to be done to make sure that you are secure as possible. It's also advisable to review your password complexities across the network. Make sure that these are enforced for all staff and that regular password resets are enforced across the board. If you've got remote users out in the field, it's also worth considering encryption technology to make sure that if your device is misplaced or stolen, that the data on it cannot be easily accessed. It may also be worth taking the time to review your Active Directory infrastructure to make sure that any users that have left the company and any devices that are no longer in use are removed so that these threats can be taken care of. Your business should really be looking to invest in current generation security appliances, next generation antivirus, and web content security as standard. As always, patch management is absolutely vital to making sure that your software has got the most up-to-date security patches available. It's not just about the frontline though. It's also crucial to make sure that you've got a backup technology that works. And more importantly than that, one that you can test and make sure it's reliable when it comes to restores. While backup is one thing, it's also key to make sure that you can recover from a disaster should one ever occur. Should something happen, how are you going to get the business back up and running? How are you going to get it to its prior performance? It's always good to consider cyber insurance as well. Should the worst happen and you are breached or you take on a virus or malware, this will pay out in the event of any loss, if, of course, the requirements are met. What it won't do, however, is protect you from any fines any brand damage or any revenue loss that's a result of the breach. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon on the next episode of Ask the Expert.